<clears throat> All right. Let's see what's happening, guys. What's going on, everybody? Coming back for the third show today. I must be crazy doing three shows in one day. <sighs> tired. Already tired. So, we took our big giant 16 inch by 40 inch long canvas and we covered it all in Bob Ross liquid clear. And then we took our sap green and our thalo green and our thalo blue all over the canvas in different areas. And you can see them all. We got the blue, we got the green, we got the thalo green over here, a little bit more blue, a little bit more green. You can see them all throughout the canvas. So when we go across it with our white paint, it's gonna interact with all those colors. It's gonna be fantastic. So you guys tell me where you're watching from, what's your favorite sandwich, and just how late is it where you are? What time is it where you're at, right? So we're gonna take this white paint and let's decide, who knows? We got this one just crazy green auroras as we put it out there, right? A little bit more of our white onto the brush so it stays nice and bright and maybe like that. Boom, come down and just smash upon the atmosphere coming down like crazy, right? Now, this is gonna be a giant big canvas, so let's add a little bit of our extra paint inside of our auroras, just any which where, right? Anywhere you have a little bit of extra paint on there, it's gonna allow it to streak up just a bit more. And when it streaks up a bit more, it's gonna look a bit cooler in certain places. So, just like that, and I know you're looking at it going, oh my goodness, what have I wasted my time watching this guy for? We take our two inch brush and we make some magic happen. Are you ready for the magic? With the amount of pressure that we push up, look at that. Oh, just fantastic. Right here, all the way through, boom, straight up through the whole thing. Drag it, lots of pressure. Push that sucker up all the way. Boom, 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 all the way through the whole thing. Look at those, light, those colors just light up. It's the, literally the most fantastic thing you can do with a bit of color on your black canvas. Just awesome. Little bits, not allowing them to touch every which where, and they're all gonna change from wherever you have your little undercolor to where it's gonna be. It's just very cool. Now, let's take a bit of our same white paint on the same brush, didn't even wash it. It's starting to contaminate our white pile over here. Just like that, let's go in and decide. Maybe there's a few bits of extra bright clouds that just live in here, all just mushing it on with the paint. Blah! Just everywhere. Every which where you wanna have some. Look at how instantly it turned the whole brush green, too. A little bit of our paint over here. It all depends what you want it to look like. I want mine to look like a giant mess. And you want to know why? Because when you come back from that giant mess, we almost forgot to take the paper towels down. Oh man. Always have a tape gun. Good to have, right? Always a good tool to have. Now, I want to take all that big giant mess. We're going to take our two inch brush that we've just been using to mix up all the clouds. We're just going to use the corner of it not the whole brush. We're gonna apply a little bit of pressure and it's gonna to start to build its way down. Look at how it starts to glow with all those green colors that are underneath, right? Wherever we mix it up, where you're gonna get that bit of brightness as it shines down. Now watch this, we can take the brush and really work down that color. Pulling it down as far as you wanna grab yours, right? Doesn't all have to be the same, just like that. Don't wanna hit our roars going sideways. That would look kind of funny if we did that, right? And this guy right here looks kind of funny anyway. What if we put a little bit of extra bright paint right there? Took our brush, swiped it up. There we go. Gorgeous. Just like so. Get all that color. Now watch, any little bit of color we have on the brush as you work it in down here, we'll just start to mix in with all of the colors and bring light down a little bit further and further and further. You can make stuff look very far away just by having a little bit of color out there. These far away little bits of soft, dark clouds that are way back there underneath, right? They don't have to match up. They don't have to be as bright. You can take some back there, make it a little bit brighter just by grabbing some paint from up here, right? Let's go grab something from up there. Bring it down to this guy, a little different height, a little different level, right? And get that far depth way back into your sky. Really cool. Very simply done, very easily done. Now let's wash those brushes off because we don't need all that thick green paint all over our brush. We gotta go keep it nice and white, right? Kind of keep it nice and bright white. And that way it will interact with all those colors that we have on the canvas. Very cool. Now you guys are going to tell me where you're watching from. What's your favorite sandwich? As we just beat the devil out of this brush right there onto the thing. This guy needs a haircut. Look at him. He's like me. He needs a haircut. He needs a haircut. So tell me where you're watching from, guys. What's your favorite sandwich? This one's going to be a real fun one. Let me guarantee that for you. 
Well, that's the side. We're going to throw this huge mountain in. So we can either put the peak right in the center, you can put it off to the side, you could do it over here. You could do all sorts of stuff. And then down here, we're going to have this oceany scene. It's going to be really fantastic. Just really fantastic. So, I mean, you don't even have to do a mountain. You could literally leave it like that. If we do a mountain, it's going to cover our far away bit of our clouds and stuff that we worked on back there, even though it only took us a second, right? Still worked on them a little bit. So if we do a mountain, it's going to cover all that. Why don't we just bring it down and we'll do this gorgeous little seascape right down here, maybe saving just a little bit of those far away bits of clouds just by adding a little bit of color in there, right? And then we're going to very lightly swipe it to the side, just like that. Almost looks like a little UFO off in the distance, doesn't it? All right, we'll take our little bit down here. Maybe we'll have two UFOs coming in a little arc little thing right just a little bit and then when you pull it to the side we'll have dose ufos in our scene right back there you can't tell me it doesn't look like a ufo off in the distance flying around It'll be really cool the softer you make it right the more you let it blend in with those dark colors you can take it and shrink it down let it look further away have a little bigger one a little softer one very cool guys very cool very cool now we'll come in and we'll do our little seascape Remember, you can buy this painting if you go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com. You can buy this painting. Search for number 866 comes with a certificate of authenticity and everything. So let's take our paint back here. And let's say way off in the distance, way back here even. Just start going from side to side. Little bits. Little bits of water way off there, right? And then we're going to make it a little thicker on this side than it is over here. It's going to be like a little right triangle. Get that one side. And one side's a little bit thicker, right? Coming out like that. Very cool. Just like that, guys. Perfect. Perfection. All right, now we're going to go back. We're going to load that up with a little bit of our white right on the end of the brush. Remember, if this is your first time watching a Paint With Josh show, tell us where you're watching from. What's your favorite sandwich? And we're going to come in here like that. And let's kind of soften this area out a little bit first. Ooh, yes. Look at those colors, you guys. We come back in here. Maybe we have a little bit of brightness in different places just by dropping a little bit of white out there, right? Just a little bit of white, going back over it with the same brush nice and softly and not trying to get rid of all the little colors back there, right? That's the most important part. Don't want to lose all of those colors. What if we did this guy down like this? We went whoop, whoop, a little bit of a mustache shape, right? You can take him off here too. And then from the edge of these guys, we're going to pull it back. And all we're doing is just adding a little bit more brightness, right? So you have a little bit of bright, a little bit of dark, a little bit of bright, a little bit of dark. Everywhere you go, a little bit of bright, a little bit of dark. And then slide it back, slide it back, slide it back. Blending it in, right? Doesn't all have to be the same. Then we can bring on a whole nother level, right? But first we gotta go back and soften it just a little bit. A little bit of touch, a little bit of pull. Straight sideways, right? You get those little things that are happening. Now let's wash the brush off. And we'll come back. Remember, if you want to buy this painting, it's a ginormous painting. It's a 16 inch by 40 inch. So about double the size that we normally paint. When we normally do a video, it's about this much. So now we have two canvases basically that we're painting on with the size of this sucker. So thank you guys all for watching. You're going to have a great time here at the Paint With Josh show, let me tell you. So we're going to load up our paint just a little bit more onto our brush, but not all the way up to the squeezy bit, whatever this piece is called right here. It's obviously squeezing all the bristles into the brush, right? So we're going to come in like that. We will make our next little guy. We could do a little lip back here. We could add another lip back there. You could add so much depth to this thing, but let's go like this. Let's come in like that. We're going to go up and down again, just a little guy, making sure that our little peaks come up at different levels, right? Slide it down leaving little bits of darkness in between each little one, right? Bring this guy down, just like that. Having our little differences in color, right? They don't all have to be the same. Get these little things to start happening, right? Now this guy has got to be a little bit brighter white as he comes up to the top up here, right? So it's got to be a bit brighter white. It's going to stand out against the rest. There we go, sliding it down. Now this guy, we're going to start to slide back but we're not going to get the last bit of color to touch the last bit of color, right? Look at this. We flip it back with just a corner of the brush. And if you save that little darkness underneath, it's like a shadow from the lip of the next wave, right? Very cool. Take this guy, pull him off to the side very gently, just like that. Now we're going to have this awesome little thing happening as we take our wave. And we're going to come in with our next little crasher. It's going to be awesome, right? 
So what we're gonna do is load up the brush again, just straight into the white. Didn't add any, didn't clean it off, just right into the white with all that green all over it. And let's come up here like we had this big monster just crashing off the side. And that guy's gonna slide down that way, creating depth in our painting, right? Now, eventually we're gonna hit a spot right here and we're gonna hit a spot coming down and we're gonna hit a spot right there. No, we're not, we're not painting a whale's tail or a dolphin or an X marks the spot on our treasure map, right? Just like that though, that's our pivot point. So, if you guys that don't know, if you've never seen the show before, this is gonna get you a follow if you remember what this is called by the time we get over here, okay? So, pivot point, that's our spot that we wanna line up with. Now, we're gonna come back here, making little flicks all the way back to our next little bit of color. And as we come down, we're gonna flatten out, and once we hit that little spot, now we're gonna start to pivot like a clock, right? So we come back to that same spot over and over and over again, no matter which way you go, you go back to that same spot. Now right here, maybe we'll take this bit, start to slide him down just a little. Maybe if we follow along the edges, we can have him grow like that. We can have our little bit of water start falling off this way, right? And all of a sudden, the water is starting to build its way out towards us. Very cool, right? Now, this guy again, he's gonna come down here. He's gonna end up sliding across. So we'll just have to decide what our little crashing wave is gonna look like, right? Just like that, you guys. So simple to add a bunch of depth to your seascape with one little thing. It's two words. You guys know those two words? These two words right here. These little spots are little darkness in between each little thing, right? You get your dark what? Dark separator, JHG Adventures. Pin that comment. I don't think I follow you, so give you a follow. It's got 1,082 followers now because they know, right? That dark separator. I almost forgot what we were talking about. I lit, legit almost forgot what we were talking about. Now, I'm gonna take our bit of our white paint on the brush, gonna come in here, make a little bit of an eye, right? A little thicker on the one side, a little thinner on the other side. And then we're gonna take our one inch brush and spread that sucker outward, right? Once we start spreading them out, it's gonna really wanna grow, right? So we have to decide how far we're gonna let it grow out before it tries to touch those other colors, right? We don't want the colors to get together. You gotta have that dark separator in between. And the longer you go, the darker and darker and darker it's gonna mix in. But don't let these colors touch either, right? Gotta have those dark separators everywhere, at least until later. All right, now we're gonna get as close as we can get up to that line and then extend our eye down. You see how it's getting darker? It's mixing in with all those colors as it grows down that way. We're gonna take our same brush, grabbing up a little bit of our white on the brush. That's all you need. Just a little touch of white, just like that, right? Again, we're gonna come back over here and take this guy and start to spin downward, right? Rotating down, dumping off the white, leaving it out there on the canvas, rotating down just like that. Get this whole little bit start to come over, right? And that's why you leave that dark separator, that shadow underneath. That helps cast that darkness, just like my hand, right? Just like that. Now, we're gonna turn the brush, right? Instead of being over here, we're gonna rotate the handle over to this side take this guy and fling him off the edge right here. Now, what's that piece called again that we talked about over here? What's that called? I always forget. You guys got to remind me because whoever reminds me is going to get a follow. Pivot point says Savannah. Savannah Geyer. Going to try to pin your comment right there. Everybody go follow Savannah because she knows pivot point, guys. The pivot point, right? That spot that we talked about right here where we come back to it like a clock, right? going back to the same spot. So let's pretend to do that over here. And every time that we go off to the edge, we come back to the same little middle bit. And then we start to rotate down and down and down and down and down and down and down, right? Creating our little bit of our wave, connected to this guy in the front, all tossing it down. Then we can decide what it looks like. And I was recently told that they, they look like hearts, my waves, I guess. They had this heart shape. So if you think so, if you think that looks like a heart shape, then tap on the screen a bunch and let me see a bunch of those little red hearts as they're all flying up the screen, right? Right on. Now, there's not too many steps left, guys. So start coming up with a name for this painting. If you want to name this painting, maybe it's Visitors Over Emerald Bay. Ooh, maybe I just named the painting. You guys don't even get a chance. Visitors Over Emerald Bay. Guys, should we put some lights out here on these UFOs? Like just very, very faint little lights. Oh, I don't know. I like it. I like it the way it is. All right, let's take our brush. 
this brush has like some hard bits to it, like it didn't get dried off all the way. And that's not what I want to use when I come up here to touch the painting. So let's clean that brush off and really try to get all those little hard bits off of the bristles. Bunch of beaten, right? There we go. I feel like one, but that's better. That's better than none. No, better than a bunch, I mean. Here we go. So right in here, we're going to start to slide our water back. and It's going to want to grow a little bit. and It's also going to get very soft, right? Soft like velvet. And it's going to extend and it's going to fill up all of our little empty spaces, all with just the corner of the brush, pushing it out. Out here, you push a little harder, right? Get them to stretch out a bit more. They get a little darker. Over here, you come back in the same little angle. You don't take these guys and push them that way. You don't push them straight down. You don't push them straight up, right? You follow those angles and you drag it out that way and you can, can see where our wave's gonna sort of connect right down underneath, right? I hope everyone can see. So, if not, I might have to lower you guys because we don't want all the details taken up with all the comments section. There we go, guys, that's gonna be fire. Now everybody can see all the details. You got the two UFOs back here. Are they UFOs or are they clouds? I have to really duck down now. Be like, do my squats, hang on guys. Oh, I gotta work on the butt cheeks. Working on the butt cheeks. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, my legs hurt now. What am I doing? I'm trying to go to bed. I'm not trying to work out. I'm trying to go to sleep after this. All right, guys, here we go. This one's gonna be fantastic. Now I'm gonna take a little bit extra white just on the tip of the bristles and we're gonna come in and we're gonna tap this guy. Just tapping him, just like we made our UFOs back here. But leaving it just like that. So it looks like the water's about to rush over and then we're gonna to start to stretch it right out to our little bit of our dark separator in there, right? Very cool. And then when we go to light it up and it's gonna change, and then we could even drag this whole thing out. You could do it backwards and forwards and make this whole bit just come around. It's gonna be really cool. Okay, now I've gotta get my wave up here just a little brighter. So I'm gonna take a little bit of our white, dump it onto the top. And that way it's almost like the moon Got that little kiss of, of light right on the top of our water. Just like that, right? The little bits, little reflections, little glary pieces of something. You don't want it to be all the same across the entire wave, right? And that way we come down into the darkness. Now, this is the only time that we're gonna have to use a palette knife to do a paint with Josh Seascape, right? Everybody does their water a little bit differently, but if you like the way that I do mine, you'll just need a palette knife just one time. And you don't even really have to use it onto the canvas. You just gotta mix up some color, right? So, we'll take this bit. I should probably lower my camera because I can't even see where you guys can see. I'll have to hold the palette down here, I guess. We'll take this piece, we'll mix up a little bit of our black, a little bit of our crimson, a little bit of our blue color, right? Just all on the knife, all at the same time, mix them all up into this real dark, nasty pile, right? And then we're gonna use that as our shadowy mixture of our water and crashing spray and all that stuff. I use it to make a mountain, trees, whatever you want, you make out of this shadowy mix. Now we're gonna come back with a dark colored fan brush. Actually, you know what? We'll save this dark mix until a little bit later. Come back and do our bit of wave now. Now let's go back into our white over here, right? And it's not pure white, it's a little green tinted because we keep coming in and touching this and then touching that and it keeps transferring color from there back to here, right? It looks very cool though. Now we're gonna take that white and we're gonna start to come down our wave, brightening it up. Like I said, you can change it. Maybe you want it to come out here a little bit more. Slide it down a little bit more and then we're gonna go back and soften it too. Now, I've got a little bit of the white turned green. It's not so bright. I need to come back in here and start pulling it straight back. Straight back until we start lining up. See how we're lining up with our lines like that? And all of a sudden we've created this diagonal bit of our foam. Have this guy crash off the edge over here. Change it with little bits, little things, little differences, right? Now, the most fun part is when you come back in here and you start to rotate, but you have to pretend like there's a little ball right inside there that you can't touch. Can't touch the little ball back there, right? So you gotta go back and then you gotta go up. Back and then up and pull away. And that way we're not touching our wave, right? So it's almost like you're, you're going like this, you're going in and out, and it's almost like rubbing your belly and patting your head at the same time. Oh, I can do it, and I touch the canvas a little bit. So, I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it that easily, but yeah, it's sort of like doing that. You have to make contact with the canvas, slide back, and then turn up and pull away so you don't touch anything else, right? 
takes a little bit of our third P. Does anybody know what the third P is? Because with our third P, you'll really master this little rounding technique. Has anybody got the third P? I'll give you a shout out in the comments if you know it. What's that third P? Anybody got it? Let's see. Practice says Frankie Aguilagando. I'm sure I spelled <laughs> Aguinaldo. There we go. Gave you a follow, and I'm going to try. Oh, it's gone. I was going to try to pin your comment, but at least I gave you a follow. So they knew. They knew. Now we're going to come back in here. I might have to get down on my hands and knees, guys, to come down and finish this one. Oh, yeah, this is nice. I like being down here. A little difference in, uh, in orientation. Check that out. We can literally bring the whole wave. It can just literally come down at us like a snake, you guys. Really cool. Okay, now let's take our bit of our green brush. We're going to go back and get some white paint. We're running out of white. Let's go back and get some white paint in there just on the thing. And now we're going to pull down our sand, right? We're going to stay about quarter inch underneath any bit of color that you have down there. All right, and so we don't want to continue along too far as our sand wraps its way down around here, right? Any little bits you want a little bit extra brightness to, and we add a little bit to our wave, right? Pulling down in those opposite directions. So we came up, go down, came up, go down, came up, go down, right? Just like our little mustache shapes out there, just like we're painting like when we were kids, little, little waves out there on the ocean, right? Very cool. Now we're going to take our two inch brush, and this is when I'm going to ask you a question down here on my knees. You guys just hear my knee pop? Oh my God. Okay, so we have to do two different things, all right? We've got to pull down and we've got to swipe side to side, back and forth. Now, I'm gonna ask you a question. Do we pull down with a little bit of pressure or do we pull down with a lot of pressure? You guys tell me in the comments, little bit of pressure or a lot of pressure? Let me see and I'll give some shout outs as we go. So Savannah says a lot, Chris says a lot, user5272 says a little, Tabitha says a lot, Andrea says a lot, Winter says a lot, Sage says lots. Marissa says lots, <laughs> lots, right? One unique Nicole says a little, Marissa says a little, Terry says a little, Mark says a lot, Bridge says a little, right? All right, let me show you guys. Let me show you both ways, right? As we crawl back over here on my knees and we'll walk back over here. All right, now, let me show you both ways. We'll go very light first, light pressure, right? So we're making contact with the canvas and then we'll go light pressure across. And then you just tell me, would you leave your sand looking just like that, right? and walk away and be like, okay, let's move on to the next step. All you people that said, a little bit of pressure. Would you leave your sand looking just like that with a little bit of pressure and walk away? Let's see. Brenda says no. All right, A says no. Mandy the hair witch, I think that says, is no. Peyton says nope. Marissa says no, right? No, so let's try it the other way around and let's try it with hard pressure. Take that bit, push it down. Push it down, push it down, push it down. What's it start to look like? What does it resemble that's right here on our painting somewhere, right? What does it resemble? Maybe we can't see it because it's so high up anymore, but it looks like Aurora Borealis, right? If we were to take the canvas, flip it upside down, you got your sweet Aurora Borealis down here, right? Now, this is part two, I told you. We're gonna push it to the wave and pull it away, but which one do we do first? Now let's remember, we're trying to keep these dark separators from touching together, so, if we were to push it towards the wave or pull it away from the wave first, which one do you think is gonna retain that dark line? Let me scoot back here, we'll see the comments. Let's see. Armand says away, Jackie West says away. Uh, Girl Loves Horses says away. Wednesday says pull, I'm assuming that's away. Samantha says pull it away. Squeaky says pull it away. Let's see, Touch My Separator says Turi. Away says Chris, pull, pull, away, away, away. I don't see one person that says towards. Are you guys for real? No one's gonna say towards. No one's gonna, oh, there's one person that says M Baird says push, right? Everyone else says away. You guys must've seen the show before. Cause if you think about it, right? If we take this and we push it towards the wave first, don't you think that both those colors are gonna sort of interact and immediately we're gonna lose that dark separator? So we take it, we pull it away with the same hard pressure all right, pulling it away, retaining our darkness all the way up. So we move the brush to follow that line all the way up there, swiping it, turning all of those vertical swipes into horizontal swipes, right? Now we've got this big gap. It looks kind of funny. It looks like our wave should be, you know, two feet tall with all this shadow underneath. That's too much shadow. So let's take our brush, and just like a sequin pillow when you can slide the color and it's one color and you slide it the other way, it's another thing, and all the little pieces turn over, right? You do the same thing with an oil painting like this. So we're gonna start to push it, 
and slide it towards the green. But we don't want the two greens to touch. So once we get very, very, very close, then we stop, right? And go, ooh, okay. Look at that now. Look at that, guys. Look at that. It's sitting up just a little bit, right? So the water can slide back and forth across the sand easily with that little bit of shadow underneath. Very, very cool, guys. Now, we're gonna go wash this brush off and I gotta stand back up. Woo! Holy moly. Holy of the moly's. That one's gonna look neat. And then I think we're gonna put a giant lightning strike in the sky as well. Just a big old, like, just an awesome lightning strike. It's gonna be wicked. Okay, now, let's come back in. We'll go into that dark color like I was telling you guys about right here. So we created out of our, which three colors did I use to make this darkness? Was anyone paying attention? To make our dark shadow, I'll give you a follow. Which three colors was I using to make that darkness? Just real quick. I'll even lift it up to show you guys the rest of the painting. We got auroras and all sorts of stuff going up on top of this guy. Black, crimson, and blue. There it was. Let me come back down. Hang on. Black, crimson, and blue. What's I think that's the Happy Chick 86. Give you a follow just like that. Black, crimson, and blue. See if I can pin this. There we go. Everybody go follow the Happy Chick 86 for knowing black, crimson, and blue. That's what we make our color shadow out of, right? Now, we're going to use that dark, colory mixture just like this. Just like that, going into both sides of the brush, not going all the way up to the squeezy bit. You don't need to go all the way up to whatever this piece is called. We call it the squeezy bit around here because I never went to art school. I never took a single art class. I've never even been to like a wine and paint or anything like that. So I literally watched some Bob Ross videos, taught myself what he wasn't teaching us. And now I teach you guys. I teach over a million, 1.1 million people now. Woo, that's a lot of people. So just like that with our dark color, we need to attach ourselves to this dark separator that's underneath. See how we left this one nice and good? Oh yeah. And then we get to decide what our ocean little wave looks like, right? Now we're gonna start our little tremble. Like how many people are watching right here? This is a good way to do it. If you look back and you think to yourself, okay, 1600 people are watching right now and you think, oh, I would be so scared. How does Paint With Josh do it, right? How does he do it? It's no big deal, guys. You gotta forget about all the people that are watching. We come up and we tremble like this, like we're so super scared. And then you go up into that white. See how I'm not coming down into the eye. I'm attaching myself to that dark separator that's in there. And then we get to decide what it looks like. We're going to follow it down all the way. It's going to have this big, sharp running bit to it. Or do you come and cut through it a little bit higher? Totally up to you. And then all we do is mush. Just mush a bunch of darkness on there, right? And this guy's literally flying off the canvas. Just... The whole bit of ocean's just off the canvas, and then this bit's gonna fall down into your living room floor. Excellent, just excellent, right? Now you take all that nastiness. We still left our original dark circle that's unpainted. We've got all of our dark separator underneath. You can even take a little bit and dab it in if yours wasn't dark enough. A little bit of darkness underneath that little bit of white. A little bit of shadow just makes it grow just a touch. I don't know what that guy's doing. There we go, get that guy out of there, right? So if you pop in a little bit of darkness too, you can leave almost like little holes in your bit of green, which also looks very cool as you're sitting there trying to blend it all out, right? Or it'll look like little bits of lower area than the whole rest. Fantastic. Now, come in, we'll soften this guy. Take that guy nice and soft back here, over there. Got our dark separator already. Now we're gonna come down we're gonna finish our spray, and then we'll come down and work on the bottom part of the wave. It'll be really cool. So that's really it. That's all you need that dark color for, unless you plan on putting in a big palm tree or a giant rock or something that your, your water is gonna crash down onto. And you really don't need that dark mixture any more than just that one little time. So don't worry about it too much. You don't need a whole lot of it, but you do now need some liquid white. What is liquid white? Well, liquid white, I don't know if you can even see it in here. It's very runny, nasty, like liquidy, milky, like just wet, just wet, gross paint. Watch, I'm gonna scoop it up like that. I'm gonna see if I can't get anything to fall off, okay? Just to show you guys. Get off of there. No, it doesn't want to, there's too, it's too much into the brush, right? So I'm gonna mix it into our little bit of light color and all it's doing is making it a little bit sloppier. Right, it's taking our thick white paint and thinning it down just enough to make it a little sloppy. And once it's sloppy, we come up here, it's gonna really attach to all those little bits. So we're gonna start our tremble again. Like how many people are watching this time? Oh, 1400, okay. Oh my God, we're so scared. 
There's so many people, right? This is nothing to paint with Josh. We've had 10,000 people watching. We'll come in here and we're going to start to tap just like that. Right on top of our bit of shadowy water. Not trying to cover all of the dark shadow underneath. you got to have that darkness. And as we come along the top, we're not trying to cover every bit, right? Still lots of dark shadow way down here. It's all still dark black paint or, or purpley paint, right? More little trembly bits. Now over here, we don't want to put too many little sections of white, right? What do we leave in between all of those little bits, all of our little smooshes, right? What have we left in between there? Does anybody know? It's gonna earn you a follow if you know what we left. It's got two words, four syllables. What, are, oh shoot, I just flicked paint thinner all over my freaking curtain back there. Dang it. Ah, oh, killing me. Oh, that hurts to flick stuff way back there, right? Dark spots, dark shadows, almost, almost. Did we get anybody say it before? Bastion, Bastion said it right there, dark separator. We try to follow Bastion, everybody, because he knows, or they know, they got five followers. Now, Paint with Josh is one of your new followers. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that just crazy? Because they know the dark separator, right? We talked about all these dark areas in between our bits of color, right? So where the brightness and the brightness are gonna meet, gotta have a little area that's a little darker. Brightness and brightness, little dark separator. Brightness and brightness, little dark separator big dark separator between this bit of bright and the next bit of bright all throughout the whole painting right same over here brightness brightness dark separator in between that's what we call it over here at paint with josh now we're gonna take a little of our liquid white paint just a little bit and we're gonna put it down underneath again about a quarter inch under our thing just right here in the front come back with a clean dry brush right clean dry brush a lot of pressure again right and then we pull it out Pull it back and get that little bit, just a little brighter, a little more wet, almost reflecting down our crashing water right there, right? Now, we're gonna come back with a one inch brush as we do this down on our knees over here, right? Haven't washed this one inch brush at all. It's still got some green color from messing around with all this paint, right? Now, we're gonna come up here very lightly, just like we did with our clouds up there, but so lightly that it's not gonna even barely move, right? Just so soft, because it's gonna wanna grow like crazy. Right? You want to leave our dark areas. I want to have everything be all the same bit of gray and the same bit of nastiness, right? And you get to decide when it's done, right? And we do this two times and then we throw water at it. So I throw paint at it, so don't worry about it, right? Now we'll come back in, get a little bit more of our liquid white, go back into our little pile, get all up onto our brush, start our little tremble again, and come back in here. Couple more, and now we're gonna go less. We're gonna go even less than before. Touching less, less pressure, maybe move over it, bigger circles, a few more times, boom, just like that, right? Gorgeous, perfect, exactly what you wanna have. And then the last and final bit, the most fun part of doing that section anyway, we're gonna save till the very end where we throw paint in and just get it all crazy. But in the meantime, we've gotta go back and soften these little lines, dragging our bit of color all the way up to the dark separator, all the way up there, right? And what it's basically doing is making little mustaches, right? Our little peaks of our waves right here. Coming up this side, going down the other side. Coming up, coming up. See how they meet at that little peak? That's what you gotta have those dark separators for. Now we're gonna come back in with a bit of our white paint. Not liquid white paint, just regular titanium white. We're gonna take our, our thing right here, gonna extend it out just a little bit. Watch this guy grow. Our whole wave just wrapped around our entire scene. Right, changing it. These guys are at a little different angle. See how they're more flat? These guys are more, more of a little J shape. All depends on what you do with yours. Pull it down, a little brighter, a little darker off the back, right? Take some of the same paint, pulling it in different directions so we can make our little mustaches. Gorgeous, guys. Just fantastic, right? Take this guy, start sliding it up towards the dark separator, right? Following our same little angles. Up that way. Sometimes they can touch. You just don't want them to touch too much. Too much touching is bad. Like they tell you in middle school. There we go. Over there. Over there. Pulling it away. Pulling it back. Stretching it out. And then coming in from the back. Pushing it up towards that dark separator, guys. Look at that. Look at that. That is a very cool little painting, if you ask me. Get our whole little wave. Coming up and then crashing over, got our wet sand. Still left a very, very, very dark piece down here at the bottom. 
Very cool. You guys, I like that. I'm gonna put my signature right down there in the dark. Right down there. So, you can buy this painting. If you go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com, I sell through Etsy. We've got more than 875 sales or some crazy number like that. Some huge number of sales over in Etsy that just blows my mind every single time somebody makes a purchase. I'm like, wow. Like still, even after four years of selling art, it still blows my mind when somebody buys a painting. I'm like, man, that's just the most awesomest feeling ever, right? And it's just the best. Just the best. So let me let me get you guys back a little bit. We're gonna zoom you or pull you back up. There we go. Look at that. That's a big old canvas, guys. A couple UFOs out in the distance. Should we put some lights? Just some soft little lights on those UFOs. Just a couple, right? I love the shape of this guy. It's like you can almost see that peak at the top. Very cool. This guy's a lot farther away, so you don't see much of it. And it's just literally a swipe of paint. That's all you really did. So let's say if this first guy wanted a couple little, little teeny tiny lights, we're gonna have to dull those lights down to green, not just put white out there. So let's take our bit, put up our, our titanium white and our liquid white in with the green, and then maybe we pop just a couple little bits out there. Right, and that way you're gonna look at it and go, is that a UFO? Are those, are those lights? Is that a UFO, right? Gonna be, you're going to find it later on. It's not so blaring out in our face, but those little lights out there are just going to be fantastic. So two little UFOs in this one. I'm not going to put lights on the further one because he's too far away to see. But when the buyer looks at that and they go, holy cow, that's a UFO. I never even saw the UFO in there, right? There's one thing we do need though. Should we put a bit of lightning in here? I think we should throw some lightning into those clouds. Guys, you let me know. What do you think? What do you think? We should do, we could pop a bit in right there. This is our brightest light uh, spot. So we could have it come out, maybe come down towards the UFO. It's not gonna be all the way down to the ocean. Maybe we have it connect from here to here, like a little arc. Who knows, who knows? Or maybe we just do nothing, right? We just do nothing. Could take a bit of color. Just so softly, just so softly. Look at that guy. Oh man, it's like he's doing freaking experiments in the ocean back there. That's wicked. That's wicked. Just one light on the far UFO. It'd still be too big. It'd be too close. That's cool though. A little bit of a, a beam coming down just very lightly as it gets down to the water. So lightly, not trying to touch it. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, you guys. So softly. Again, so you don't even know. You're like, what is that out there? What's underneath that cloud? That is cool, right? That is cool. Bang, bang, boom, purple lightning, that'd be neat. Lightning would be overkill, I think too, right? It's almost uh, too much. There's a lot to look at. Lightning through the UFOs, that'd be neat too. Come down and bounce right off of it. So start coming up with a name for this one, guys. And uh, we'll see if anybody has just the most amazing name, I might just choose your name and name it that, or if it gets purchased, then the buyer gets to choose the name. And that's even more fun. So we're going to leave this one black on the sides. And on the very edge over here, we got to take our last bit of our spray. And spray this sucker down. Right? That's the most fun part. Taking it. Throwing paint at it. Throw some paint. We'll get our little bit of our signature done. I think we got our bird family flying way out here today. Way off. Just like that, guys. So, these birds represent myself, my ex wife, London, and our gorgeous daughter, and they go into every single painting as part of the signature. And the other part comes down here. We said we're going to put it on this side. Oh, goodness. Right down there. So, over 1.1 million followers, guys. Make sure to go over and get your paintings while you can, because they go fast. They go fast. We've got 410,000 Facebook followers. The last time I checked, it had jumped up 4,000 more followers to 410. 410,000. And then, what, our TikTok's at like 345 something. Uh, Instagram's 296. YouTube's at like 55,000. It's going crazy, guys. 
Remember, get your Paint With Josh t-shirts. Your girlfriend watches me while you're at work. People get really mad about this shirt. They get really mad because it's so true. And I think that's what the guys don't like is the truth hurts, doesn't it, guys? Just really hurts, but it's okay. It's all right. Your girlfriend's too far away. Unless you live here in Vegas, then you should be worried. <laughs> you should be worried. Okay, let's do this. Let's pop that over there. Let's clean up this whole little section. And then we're going to throw in this little bit of our stars, right? Or our little our spray, our water spray. It's going to be wicked. So we're going to take a bit of our liquid white right on the brush. Going to come out here onto the edge, putting it very close out onto the edge. And then we're going to come across the palette. And what it does is it bends the bristles backwards and then flings them forward and shoots out a bunch of water. Are you ready? Here we go. Going to start popping them in. Boom, 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 boom. Just like that. Just a couple thousand little sprays of water out there. You'll never be able to do those all with your single brush or a little liner brush. You're trying to pop in all these things. Never going to work like that, right? Way out here, we're going to toss a couple stars out into the sky. Sort of hide our UFOs out there, right? Maybe way down on the ocean. Way behind the birds. Way off there, right? It might hide our bit. Now we'll come up into our sky. Same paint, same thing, tossing the paint off, having it land on the canvas. Very cool. Very cool, guys. Okay, let's start coming up with a name for this one. I'm going to finish washing off the brush, cleaning off the palette, and then we'll turn it around. We'll sign it. And I got a feeling, I got a feeling, guys, that I'm going to be able to keep this one. I don't think it's going to get sold. I think I'm going to be able to keep it and finally take a painting down to the gallery. So let's name it something. And if it doesn't get sold, then we'll take it down to the gallery and uh, we'll hang it up as part of my featured artist August extravaganza, we're gonna call it. So let me flip the cameras around real quick and then we'll get to naming it, guys. So flip camera, whoops, sorry. There we go. I turned that little thing off, I hate that thing. There we are, all right, let's see. Here's what the painting actually looks like. Look at that. Emerald Tails, Emerald Coast, the other side, Unidentified Ocean Waves, because the two UFOs, I see. I see what you did there. Let's see, I hate the birds. That's okay, that's up to you. You don't have to paint your birds when you don't do yours, that's fine. Extraterrestrial Sea, The Coming. Let's see, the Emerald Beaches, I dig that. Nature's Breath, I love it, says Michelle. Thank you so much, I appreciate you. Let's see, Skywalker. Ooh, what about like Skywalker Cove? Skywalker Cove, guys. UF Ocean. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool idea. Who said that? Who said, said what you said? Kate's idea? Who's Kate? Where'd that go? UF Ocean. That was a cool idea. You know, I like, I see Cam up here. I don't know. Let me give you a follow. I kind of like that one, guys. Let's pin this comment up there. UF Ocean. What do, we, what do you guys think? Should we call it UF Ocean? Ocean Void. I like that. Deep Blue Sea with your eyes. I dig that. All right. Let's see. Green meeting green because little green men in the sky. See, I see what you guys are doing. I see what you're doing. I really like UF Ocean. Beyond the Borealis. I dig that, too. That's a very cool title. Unidentified Ocean. Secret Ocean. <laughs> You have to do like a little emoji shh guy. I, I can't draw that, so we can't do that. E.T. Celestial, Emerald Knight. I dig all these comments, guys. Skywalker Cove and UF Ocean. Those are like the two front runners right now. Midnight Ride, ooh, because you're going to go take a midnight ride on the UFOs. It's more like a 3.33 a.m. is when they come. You don't want to be awake at 3.33 a.m. The witching hour. UF Ocean. Let's say, well, Cam didn't say it first, but it's the only one that I saw. So if somebody else puts it up or if Kate, I didn't see anybody else say it. So, and I can't take all day trying to scroll through all the comments, but ET Ocean Experience, Unidentified Ocean. Where's Kate? If Kate was the first one, then have Kate say something so I can pin her comment. Let's see. UF Ocean is cool. Oh, is that it right there? I said it. Bam, Kate, going to give you a follow, 49, now you got 50 followers, and we're going to try to pin your comment, hopefully it'll pin, there we go, cool, everybody go follow Kate, she's only got 50 followers, so UF Ocean, or 
Poseidon's Wrath. That's cool too. Otherworldly Sea. I dig that. What was the other title we're going over? UF Ocean or Skywalker Cove? Oh, Skywalker Cove. Skywalker Cove. Luke, I am your father. God, I need to go watch Star Wars now. The Green Sea. I dig that. Lucid Dreams. I'm in the Space Force. I dig it. UF Ocean. I know. I love UF Ocean too. All right, fine. UF Ocean it is. Kate Hevel or Hevel or Hiavel. Hiavel. Kate Hiavel. I know that's not how you say it. But Kate says UF Ocean. She got to name this one. I really like that, guys. So this one's available for $3.99 over on my uh, Etsy store, which is paintwithjosh.etsy.com. $399 free worldwide shipping on this giant enormous canvas enormous anyway last time we did a size like this it sold to the uk UK. come down here let's go like that a little bit of that a little bit of this and there we go over here this is number 866 if anybody wondered 866 and we're calling it u f ocean i think that's freaking wicked that's so cool that's so cool Awesome title. This is why I leave it up to you guys to name, name the paintings, right? So we did this one on 715 of 23, and we're all going to go check out paintwithjosh.com to find my live schedule, to find the supplies you need in order to paint with me, to find my YouTube, my Facebook, my Instagram, my TikTok, my Etsy store, my Amazon wish list, my Amazon supply store where you guys can buy all the stuff that I use, right? Go to paintwithjosh.com. Over there, oh, I was trying to, I'm just going to flip the phone around when we need to flip this around instead. Let's flip this guy around instead. So, oh gosh, should we do the guessing game? Do we have enough people? Oh, we got 400 people. Should we do the guessing game? Do you want to win a free canvas print? And guess my mom's late dog's name, right? She had this dog for like 12 years. And the last clue was he was a boy. That was the only, cl uh, the only clue that we have. So let's paint another one. Oh, my toe. Guys, earlier, like literally three minutes before the five o'clock show today, I was messing around with Bailey in her bathroom and she was on the phone with her friends and uh, she said something about twerking. And so I like, I went in to like mess around, like bump up against her. And when I went to leave the bathroom, I kicked the door frame with my ring finger toe. You know what I mean? Like it hurt so bad. And I just bent that toe. And remember, there's a bruise on the top of it. And boy, oh boy, it does not feel good. So no more paintings tonight. This is the third painting, right? I painted three, only one of them sold. So no more shows for you guys tonight. We'll have to wait, come back tomorrow. Uh, I do have, oh geez, it looks like somebody wants me to come back. But no, seriously, I can't, it's so late already. It's already 11, it's almost midnight. My freaking toe hurts now that I just re-bent it and pissed it off. Ah, <laughs> so uh, yeah, what was I saying? Forgot. I forgot. Oh, we were gonna we were gonna do the name, the name guessing game. Okay, you guys are wasting your time right now. I've got to set a two minute timer, and then we then we're gonna start. Okay, so let's come over here. We're gonna switch to let's switch to the up. Right, we're gonna set the up to two minutes. Zero zero two. No, that's twenty seconds. You're an idiot, Josh. <laughs> What's two minutes? There we go. Two and now zero. Okay. All right, you guys ready to go? Let's do this. It's a boy dog, and if you win, if you get the name correct, you get to choose between one of 50 canvas prints. I have 50 canvas prints, all proper quality canvas prints. Yours will not be signed on the back, so do not try to think about it being signed, okay? It's not gonna be signed. So this is what you're gonna get to win. Now I'm gonna hit the button, and then we're gonna start reading comments. So if you guess, my mom, my, my poor boy, my boy, I guess my boy's name. Then you get to win the free canvas print, a $91 value. Ready, set, go. Just hit the button right there. Oh, I didn't hit the button. I didn't hit the right button. Oh, come on. Okay, no, we're good. Go, go guys. Go, go, go. Buddy, let's see. Bud, bud, nope, 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 not Josh, not Bailey, nope, 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 Buster, nope. Clifford, that's funny. That's funny. All right. 
Blue, my boy. No. Oh, there it is. There it is. Sarah. Sarah right there. Can we pin your comment? Boom. Sarah got it on the second. It was this is the first day. This is the first day we've been doing this contest. I guess that wasn't such a very hard name to pick. So, congratulations, Sarah, for uh, choosing our boy Boba, Boba Fett. When we very first got Boba Fett, um, the Star Wars Episode One had just come out like 15, 17 years ago. He was a little uh, Lhasa Apso, cutest little boy ever. And he was a butthole, like just a total, but he didn't listen for anything. He'd be like, come on, come on. And you literally have to go pick him up and bring him inside. He's a butthole. But awesome dog. And uh, he passed away what, two years ago, I think. He's a shy little guy. So we miss him. But uh, yeah, it was uh, that went by very quickly. And now Sarah is going to message me to get her $91 canvas print sent to her. So you can choose any of the canvas prints that we have available in the store. Go send me a message on Instagram or on uh, Facebook or uh, somewhere where you can send me a photo. Go screenshot whichever one you want. Send it to me. I'll get it rolling, get it started through the store. And that was just way too fast, guys. That didn't even take a minute and it was already gone. So I need to come up with something harder for next time. Jeez. That hurts. That hurts my wallet. So, all right. Well, this one turned out fantastic. Remember, this one's $399.99, and uh, I can't paint one more tonight. No mas. No. <coughs> Holy. Holy cow. Woo! Okay, yeah, no more paintings. I've already painted three tonight, and only one of them sold. So, that's not incentivizing me that you guys want me to come up here and paint more. Which is okay. That's fine. I'll take the other two down to the gallery, and in August, when I do my... Uh, featured gallery spot i'll have more paintings to hang up down there so yes my eyes are very tired my toe is very hurting right now these lights are bright this is about the the third hour i've been standing in front of these bright lights today and they take a toll i, ha I usually have to look down and away from you guys because it's like staring right into the lights <sighs> this is what it is so Let's see. Thanks for sharing your gift. I love you. Good night, Kimmy's, uh, Kimmy Styles. Good night. Sleep well. Take a break. Get some rest. Get some rest. I know. Let's see. What's that say? On Etsy for custom, it shows two sizes. I do do larger ones. So the uh, the custom listing is is I think it's two ninety five for the sixteen by twenty and the twelve by twenty four. That's because both of those equal thirty six cubic inches, right? If you add them all up together. So. Uh, for bigger sizes, just send me a message on Etsy and say, hey, I want to do a 24 by 36. How much would that be? Or I want to do a 24 by 30 or an 18 by 24 or, uh, you know, a 30 by 40. I want to be get massive. Like, you know, you just let me know what size. I'll give you a quote. If you like the price, then we go do it. Right? We'll do it live in front of everybody. And uh, it always turns out to be a fun time. I love that we put some UFOs back into it and uh, it turned out awesome. I really like this one. So God bless all of you guys that are saying God bless to me. I love you all, and, uh, you know, until I see you on the next one. Hi, Riley, what's happening? God, my toe hurts. Should we look at my toe and see if it's bruised? Mm. I really think it's bruised. Like, the top of it would have been so bruised. Oh, God. Oh, it hurts, guys. It's definitely a different color. <laughs> it's definitely a different color than the rest of my toes. But I wouldn't call it a bruise, but it freaking hurts. Does not feel good. Thank you for the roses. Nobody wants to see my feet. Don't don't make me show you those. No, I actually have really, really, really pretty feet. Uh, for a man, I have gorgeous feet, actually, like model feet. Except for my one third or fourth toe over, the ring finger toe all the way on the end, if you count this as your big toe, right? God, it hurts. Now I gotta try to put my sock back on. Oh, oh, the pain. Okay, I love you guys. I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah, ice. Oh, I just kicked the bucket. Oh, guys, that didn't sound very good. Yeah, I kicked the bucket. Don't say that. Don't leave us, Josh, please. No, but I kicked my paint thinner bucket with my sore toe. Damn. Elevated. It's not that bad. It's really not that bad. You guys want to see? I'll show you. I'll probably fall over trying to show it to you, but uh, maybe we can put it down here. Oh, it hurts so bad, this toe. See what I mean? It's like a little, right there, little discoloration. It's a lot more painful than the other toes. <laughs> it's a little bit swollen. It's not a happy toe. He's, he's an angry toe. And tomorrow I get to go for a massage over at uh, Massage Envy. It's like one of those, you know, I don't know what kind of massage place you guys have or if every massage place is Massage Envy across the 
the world, but <clears throat> don't get a rub down. I really need like this part of my arm from either grabbing onto canvases or painting too much. It really hurts. Got my back, my neck, and then my feet. I always have them like really go ham on my feet. And I literally, I writhe in pain like a worm on the table. And I'm like, don't stop, like torture me, please. Because as soon as it's over, God, it feels good. But in the midst of like, you know, when they're in that like plantar fasciitis of your foot, just digging away, I'm like, oh, <laughs> don't stop, don't stop. So I kept preparing for the torture tomorrow. And uh, afterwards I should be as limp as a noodle. It's gonna be awesome. So kicking the bucket, getting the rub down and beating it off onto a paper towel. We, we've been saying that a lot, just accidentally, really. <laughs> and all we're doing is dabbing it, right? We're beating the paint off of the bristles onto a paper towel, but it just comes out. Yeah, we're beating off onto a paper towel over here. And uh, that's not what we're doing, okay? Just, that would probably be against community guidelines. That's not what we're doing. We're dabbing the brush onto a paper towel. <laughs> okay, perfect. You messaged me over there and uh, that's excellent. Love all you guys, no pun intended. Definitely double entendre city is where we live. Uh, and this, in this painting show, it's double entendre city. So just the tip ladies, right? Mm. All right, I'm gonna get out of here and um, yeah, I guess no one else is going to buy this one, so sad, Josh, but it's okay. Well, uh, we'll be back tomorrow, probably, at some point. And then I'm doing uh, Monday Night Madness, I think is what we decided to call the show on Monday night. So, Monday Night Madness, I really love you, Joanne. Beat the devil out of that brush right off onto a paper towel. <laughs> Beat off the devil onto a paper towel with a brush, right? So, uh, besides that... I love you guys. Thank you for the fires. Thank you for all the gifts. And, uh, you know, thank you to the people that buy the paintings. Every time you guys buy a painting, it helps me buy more canvases and uh, create more free videos and free content for you guys. So I love you, everybody. I got to go to Michael's tomorrow and spend like $400. So if somebody could buy this canvas, that would help me. Ugh, says the king. I'm sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Yeah, but uh, yeah, all the, all the sales go towards me buying more stuff paying the bills paying the, i already paid the electric bill so we're good paid the uh the internet bill so me and you can just stay out for sorry if we go if we don't eat as long as we got power and cable then we're good right so i love you guys and uh, take care and on we'll see you on the next one and until i see you again boom get him out of here i always miss the button when i try to